Hi, my name is Dominic and I'm one of the iForge reps. Today I'm going to be showing you how to safely and correctly use a pillar drill. A pillar drill is an extremely useful bit of kit used for drilling vertical holes through woods, metals and plastics. So here's the pillar drill itself. I'm just going to run you through um, some of the features on the machine and what different things do. Uh, over here we have the emergency stop. You need to turn it in the directions as shown for it to be disengaged and you can start using the machine. Here's the on and off button. We have a light here which you can turn off and on using this switch at the back. Like that you can see. Um, we have a guard to protect your face from anything flying out of the drill bit. The chuck, the drill bit itself, we have the adjustable bed and um, over here on the other side, you can't quite see at the moment, we have uh, a, a depth gauge which you can use to kind of uh, see how far you're drilling into a piece or lock out and stop yourself to certain depths. And here we have the handle which you use to raise and lower the drill bit. In the top here as well, there's a series of different pulleys, um, belts and pulleys, which you can change the speed that the um, pillow drill spins at but that's only something you need to look into if you're doing uh, some very, you know, very large holes or very kind of particular materials. So before using the pillar drill, you must ensure that you're wearing the correct personal protective equipment. You should be wearing safety goggles like these, um, a lab apron, and you need to make sure that you're wearing stout shoes as is normal with the workshop and uh, full length trousers. Beside that, you want to make sure you don't have any, um, any accessories on which are loose and could get caught within the spinning equipment and uh, no ties, lanyards and you want to make sure you have any hair pulled up. And finally, if you're drilling through anything that's producing a large amount of dust, you want to make sure you're wearing a dust mask and if it's getting very noisy, you may want to use hearing protection. So. Setting up your um, machine for the work that you're going to be doing. First, you want to make sure that the emergency stop is engaged while you're running through your setup procedure so that it doesn't just jump into life and accidentally you know, cut through your hands or whatever. And um, so to start off with, you want to be choosing the correct drill bit size for the hole that you're drilling. Let's say, for example, I'm going to use a seven millimeter drill bit here. You're going to want to switch them out. This is done by loosening the chuck by hand, you turn the bottom one clockwise and you hold the top bit stationary and the drill bit will fall out, just hold it in your hand and then we can replace it with the larger drill bit. So let's get that to the right size, put it in like that and you want to make sure that the chuck is engaged in it properly. You tighten it by hand and you want to have a look below just to see if it's straight and incorrectly. So that looks good to me. Right, so let's get rid of that. Just put that there for now. We already have my piece here clamped in a small clamp. That will help it keep stationary while drilling through. Place it onto the bed, and then you can actually adjust the height of the bed if you'd, if you'd like to at the back using the silver handle. You have to first remove the lock using the black handle here and then we can raise and lower, or lower and raise the bed as necessary to the right height. In this particular case, I'm gonna be doing a through cut, so I wanna cut all the way through my piece from the top to the bottom, and it's very important that you've chosen a clamp that will allow you to do this. Put that there. Um, what's also good to do is to make sure that your drill bit, you know where it goes through the piece all the way. So I've got that just kind of measured up using the depth guide. Give us a second. A quick note on uh, clamping different materials. You want to be really careful if you're using like thin metals when you're drilling through them because you need to make sure they're, they're clamped down very securely. As if they become loose, they can start spinning really quickly and um, obviously cut through your hand and we want to avoid that at all costs. So, 
Now that we finally got it all in the right place and set up correctly, we're going to want to disengage the emergency stop. You need to make sure the guard is also closed, otherwise it's got a mechanism on it which will stop the machine from actually working if it's open. And then you can just go ahead and drill. Easy as that. If while you're drilling, you are experiencing excessive vibrations or lots of smoke, just stop, come and talk to one of us and uh, we'll run it through with you and see if everything's going all right. So once you've finished drilling through your material, you sometimes might want to be careful not to touch the drill bit as it may be very hot. Um, after that, just go ahead, take everything off. Take my piece off here, and, you know, look at it. Fantastic, it's a hole. You want to make sure that you put everything back where you found it because we're always getting stuff lost and you want to avoid that. Put that back in its home. And then afterwards, if you've created quite a lot of sawdust, it would be great if you could hoover up after yourself. We greatly appreciate any, any efforts that you take in keeping our equipment clean. So, that there is essentially the basics of what you should know about using a pillar drill. So come in, try it out, use it for whatever projects you need, and most importantly, have fun. If you have any questions at all at any time or you're feeling slightly unsure, please just come and talk to one of us reps and we'll try and help you out wherever possible. Thanks.